In this video, we will cover the different areas that make up the World Builder, how menus work in the dock, how the warehouse window works, and how the toolbar menu works. As reference for future videos, I'll define the five areas that make up AGF. In the middle is the viewport. To the left is the dock. To the right is the warehouse. At the top is the drop-down. And on the bottom is the toolbar. By selecting these tabs, you can expand the viewport. By selecting the tabs again, they will slide back into place. By clicking and dragging on these headers, you can rearrange the windows in the dock. By clicking on these icons, you can collapse each window. Clicking the icons again will open them back up. You can drag windows off the dock, and you can drag them back to the dock. You can also click this icon for the window to snap to the dock. By selecting the View All button at the top of the warehouse window, you can see all the assets that are loaded in your warehouse. To add more assets to your warehouse, select the Manage Assets button. This opens the Asset Manager. By selecting an asset pack and clicking the Add button, you will load that asset pack. Even the basic version of AGF comes with hundreds of assets that you can assemble into complex levels. As you select each asset, you will see that asset appear in the preview window at the bottom of the warehouse. By selecting this drop down, you can select the different warehouse containers by name. You can also change what container you are looking at with these arrows. When you select an asset from the warehouse, move your mouse over the viewport and click to place that asset on your map. To remove an asset from your tooltip, select this drop tool icon on the toolbar. Go to the special container in your warehouse and select the Start Locator. Place the Start Locator on your map. Select this Play icon on your toolbar. This opens the many players that are available for AGF. Select the Internal ARPG player. This allows you to play your map as you're making it. The Escape key will put you back into the editor. Notice how the location of your camera matches where you were in the editor. Now let's go over the toolbar and see how it works. As you hover over the icons, you will see that they all have tooltip information that pops up. The icons on the left of the toolbar are mode icons. When you select a mode icon, it opens additional icons that will appear in the middle of the toolbar. These are the tools that can be used for that mode. The terrain, vegetation, and paint terrain modes can be used individually or all at the same time. Each mode has its own undo stack. As an example, you can undo the paint without affecting the vegetation or the terrain sculpting. Holding down the control key when selecting a mode that is currently on will deselect that mode. Experiment with the different modes to see what kind of results you can come up with. I'll get into more detail for each mode and how it can be used in other tutorials. This concludes the tutorial. Thanks for watching.